Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing another Sephora Squad PR haul. This time around, it's not one giant box in particular that was sent by Sephora, but instead several smaller boxes that were sent from the brands directly. Right after the announcement was made for the 2020 Sephora Squad members, I had a few brands start reaching out to me to introduce themselves, say congratulations, we're available at Sephora, and they asked if they could send some of their most popular products. So I of course said, yes, absolutely. This video is not sponsored in any way. Nobody asked me to talk about their products. It's so generous, they certainly didn't need to send anything at all. So first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to all of these brands, but also it's a great way for me to be able to try new things and experience brands and products that I may have never found on my own. Now I know sometimes PR hauls and boxings can come across as braggadocious. Some people really love them, some people hate them, but what I've been doing is going through everything and taking out the pieces that I'm really interested in, things that I think you'll be interested in, products that I know I will get a ton of use out of, I will create reviews, and that's what I will be unboxing and showing you guys today. Anything else that I don't think is right for me or I don't think there's any possible way I could possibly use it in time, for example, moisturizers, I only have one face, I only have so much skin, those items I have set aside and I am saving them for giveaways. I feel like that's fair. So I promise to never do another PR haul without also doing a giveaway. That way I can experience some new products. You guys have an opportunity to win some free products. It's a win-win for everybody. I've consolidated most everything to this box right here. And I do have a few other packages that are not Sephora Squad related. I will save those until the very end. I also posted a giveaway already this week. It's on my YouTube community page as well as my Instagram page. I will link everything you need to know to enter down below in the description box. It's a summer essentials giveaway. You're definitely going to want to enter. So let's go ahead and dive into this box. Here are a couple pieces that just arrived yesterday. These are from Pharmacy. It's a skincare brand. I wanna say this is a clean at Sephora brand as well. Here on the side it says paraben free, synthetic fragrance free, mineral oil free, cruelty free, formaldehyde free, phthalate free, all of those good things. This is the Deep Sweep 2% BHA pore cleaning toner with moringa and papaya. Anything that's going to help clean pores, get rid of excess oil, makeup, debris, and also help remove that top layer of dead skin, gives you a brighter complexion. It lets all of your skincare penetrate deeper. So this sounds really good. Let me just open it up. Ooh, pretty. Glass bottle. I love that. See, it's probably sealed. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that sealed for now. I'm gonna open it whenever I go to use this for the first time. But this sounds really nice. Contains salicylic acid, papaya enzymes. That sounds pretty strong. So this is something that when I do incorporate, I'll probably use in the evening first and maybe every other other night. You know, I'm not gonna start using this every single day. They also sent over this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melts Away Cleansing Balm. I love a cleansing balm. I'm almost done with my Sulwasu oil cleanser, so I'm gonna need something like this. Let's see. Farmer Cultivated, Scientist Activated. I might try this tonight. Ooh. Everything is green. <laughs> it's this really pretty mint green. Oh, that smells amazing. Mmm. It smells really fresh, very botanical. I love a makeup removing balm. And then the last thing they sent over is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. Also has moringa and papaya. Now I'm pretty set on moisturizers, but I love the fact that it said oil-free gel. So this is something I'm gonna save to try. Living in hot, humid Miami, especially during the day over the summer, I like a very lightweight moisturizer. Anything that's a gel cream 
is right up my alley. So this package also arrived yesterday. I am so excited about this. It's from Isle of Paradise. I just ordered their Moose Sunless Tanner. That's a video I'm working on this week. But they sent over the dark self-tanning drops for face and body. Add 1 to 12 drops to your favorite moisturizer. I'm guessing 12 is not for the face. <laughs> that would be for the body. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, and organic. That's always good. And they also sent over the dark self-tanning water with color correcting actives to even skin tone. I don't know if I really understand this. I'm just so used to applying with the mousse. I guess you spritz it on before bed, let it dry, and then it slowly develops over time. I guess this would be nice for maybe going on top of your mousse tan to make sure you didn't miss any spots. If any of you have tried the self-tanning water mist, let me know your thoughts. What is the best application process? This I'm a little unsure of. The drops for the face I'm excited about. This I understand, put it in your moisturizer. Now here's a brand carried at Sephora that I've heard of. In fact, I've seen them everywhere and I've yet to try any of their products. It's Laneige. Have you seen this? They are owned by a more Pacific and I do really enjoy their products. So this is the Glowy Makeup Serum. I cannot wait to try this. I've seen this all over Instagram. It looks really beautiful. I believe the concept is similar to the those Farsali drops that I have. Let's go ahead and unbox. So it's kind of a make skin, makeup skincare item. Makeup Boosting Serum locks in moisture, helps makeup last longer. Nice. I love this little pink bottle. I'm gonna put this to use tomorrow. Interesting. It's clear, but it has like little pigments, little radiance pigments in there. Hmm. It feels very smooth. I don't smell anything. They also sent over this lip sleeping mask. In parentheses, it says vanilla. And I remember when I read this, I was like, huh, that looks interesting. Oh, vanilla, yes, definitely want that. Makes all the difference in the world, right? Of course I want a lip sleeping mask if it smells like vanilla. Ooh, it comes with a little spatula teeny tiny little spatula in this little envelope. How cute. Normally this isn't something that I would have been into because it's a step that I would just skip, but for the past couple weeks I've been really expanding my evening routine and I've been staying on top of it. So, oh my gosh. Mmm. It smells like a vanilla cupcake. This is something you definitely want to put on your lips in the evenings. Ooh. With how dry my lips have felt lately, this is something I will definitely use. And I will keep it right next to my lash serum, which I keep right next to my toothbrush, so I don't forget to use this in the evenings. The last thing they sent over that I wanted to keep is this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask for all skin types. I love the fact that it's a water sleeping mask for all skin types because Sometimes I feel like masks in the evenings are so heavy and I can't really use them. So this could be a mask that I can use. It's supposed to be a detox while you sleep. Purification technology to help calm damaged skin. Purifying, moisturizing, hydrating, does it all. Oh, you know what? I think I have seen this in this blue container. I've seen this brand plastered all over social media and I didn't even realize that they were carried at Sephora. So I'm excited to put this to use. Ooh, should I open it? I kind of want to feel it. Let's see. Oh, it looks like a lightweight gel cream. I thought it would be really thick, but I guess because it's a water sleeping mask, it's a little bit lighter. That looks nice. This should go in the skincare refrigerator, definitely. Now here is a brand new launch from Urban Decay. They sent over their Lash Freak Mascara. This wand looks crazy <laughs> based on the photo on the box. 
And then on the back, it shows you a little before and after. Up to 20 hour wear, sweat proof, smudge proof, flake proof. 23.6 times more volume, kind of a random number. As long as it's not waterproof, that's all that matters because waterproof mascaras destroy my lashes. It doesn't matter how amazing of an eye makeup remover I use. I feel like it never comes off. It ends up breaking my natural lashes. It's terrible. 23.6% more volume. That's so funny. Ooh, this tube is crazy. Might as well open it. What in the world? This wand. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to try this tomorrow. I already have mascara on, unfortunately, because this looks very weird. Who knows? Maybe it could be a revelation in the mascara world and it'll be the best thing ever. I have a lot of skincare here to show, but I also have a lot of future skincare giveaways to look forward to. So here's a package I received from First Aid Beauty. And I remember using something from them. I think it was the wipes, these pads, years and years ago. I love products like this. Quick, easy toner pads. They're disposable. You just wipe and go. They're incredibly convenient, that's for sure. They sent over a few other pieces that I've never tried. This KP Bump Eraser. This is a body scrub with 10% AHA, safe for sensitive skin. Of course, with all the sunless tanning I do, I definitely need a good body scrub. Anything that's resurfacing too, you know, we think about our face all the time and we dedicate so much of our skincare to just our face, maybe our neck, chest, decollete if we're really paying attention, but our body needs care as well, so I'm excited about this. I also have this Coconut Skin Soothy Primer Moisturizer. It sounds like everything is safe for sensitive skin. That is a recurring theme on all of these boxes. So this is supposed to be a makeup primer. It says allergy tested, no artificial fragrance. I love anything coconut. Ooh. Because it's a priming moisturizer, not a moisturizing primer. <laughs> Very important to note the sequence here. It has a little bit of a tint to it. Feels really nice. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Now that I've rubbed it around, I can definitely smell a little bit of coconut. Mmm, smells really good. Ooh, I love it. And then the last thing from First Aid Beauty is this Fab Skin Lab Resurfacing Liquid, 10% AHA with Skin Saver Complex. It's a day after cleansing. It's a daily treatment to reveal younger, more radiant looking skin. So this is just a resurfacing serum. I will probably try this in the evenings first and just like that toner, I'm not gonna use this every single night. I'll maybe use it once, skip a couple nights, use it again. That's the best way to incorporate skincare into your routine, any skincare, but definitely something that is really active. Glycolic acid, lactic acid, lemon peel extract, hyaluronic acid, collagen, cucumber, licorice root extract. So it sounds like there are a lot of active ingredients in this little serum. Usually serums like this help to brighten the complexion. They'll help with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, post blemish marks, any sort of acne scars. If you have texture, you know, uneven bumps everywhere, this is going to help strip the skin gently, but it will strip the skin. And so over time, you have a smooth canvas. Glow Recipe was so generous. They sent over a huge box of things. I couldn't help myself. This is the only thing that I left in the box. I unboxed everything else. Well, most everything else. In fact, the giveaway that I am currently doing includes some Glow Recipe items. So again, everything will be linked down below. Make sure you enter, it's a good one. But here are a couple of the pieces that I am holding on to. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I love this packaging. Of course, I love the fact that everything is pink, but I love the way this feels. I've been using this for the past couple days. It's incredibly lightweight. It's the perfect 
gel cream moisturizer which for me living in this hot climate I love this for the summertime it's amazing the smell is awesome so I've been using that I have my watermelon glow ultra fine mist again I love it I love the way it smells I love the fact that it comes in a plastic bottle so this is something that I can just throw in a beach bag and kind of take with me anywhere it's more travel friendly I also have this watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner I've only used this a couple times I really like it I can't say I noticed a huge difference um, but it feels really nice it's kind of refreshing it's a nice step right after cleansing to prep your skin for moisture so this has been really nice I haven't tried this yet here I have the watermelon glow sleeping mask this is supposed to be for radiance it's smoothing but it looks like a gel I'm looking forward to trying this out this is the only thing I haven't tried at least that I opened up. And then I also have this Glow Recipe Lip Pop. This lip balm is amazing. I was so desperate for a lip balm the other day and this just happened to be on the counter from where I had opened it and left it. I used it, it gave me a hint of color, but my lips felt so smooth. I'm obsessed. This is a great little lip balm and I love all of those watermelon products. I also held on to this Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser supposed to be makeup erasing, deep cleaning, antioxidants, hyaluronic acid. I'll take it. This sounds really great as well. And then the other products, I figure I only have one face as much as they sound really incredible. I just don't think I will ever get to them to use them. It's too wasteful to just let them sit in the corner somewhere. So instead I put together a nice little summer essentials giveaway and one of you guys will get to enjoy those. Now this might be the box that I am most excited about. NARS did it again! They sent over their orgasm collection. This box is so beautiful and I love this giant mirror. It's incredibly practical. So inside, up at the top I have this mini orgasm eyeshadow palette as well as the Orgasm X cheek palette. So I'm gonna unbox this mini eyeshadow palette first. This mini eyeshadow palette is so cute. It's very small. It fits in the palm of your hand, but when you open it up, it has six eyeshadows. And they're not terribly small. I mean, I think it's a pretty decent size. Now there are two other eyeshadow palettes in this box. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save this. I'm not gonna swatch it. And that way I can add this to one of my giveaways in the near future because I just don't need three new eyeshadow palettes from NARS as much as I love them all and they're very beautiful. So now let's unbox this Orgasm X cheek palette. I don't have any of the cheek palettes from NARS. It says on the back it contains Orgasm Highlighting Blush Powder, Orgasm Blush, and the Orgasm X Blush. I didn't realize there was an Orgasm Highlighter but I guess you get all three. Take off this. Ooh, so this is the original orgasm. Orgasm X, orgasm highlighter. Should we swatch? I think so. I can't help myself. Ooh, that looks so pretty. It is bright gold. Of course, we all know what orgasm looks like. Very pretty, just the perfect natural flush. Now this orgasm X, this looks beautiful. It's more of a coral. It feels really creamy as well. The highlighter looks so stunning and so does that coral blush, the Orgasm X. That's going to be beautiful. I really love this palette. Down at the bottom we have two other eyeshadow palettes, Orgasm and Orgasm X. I'm so excited about these. I peeked. They look beautiful. I'm gonna start by unboxing the original Orgasm palette. I love these colors. I like that frosty pink shade. It almost reminds me of like a Pillow Talk type of color scheme. Very wearable, soft, pretty universally flattering. But these shades are beautiful. I love the one matte kind of mauve color. It's kind of a dusty rose, I guess. And then this brown is so pretty, the cream, and then the frosty pink in the corner. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to play around with that. 
then let's unbox this Orgasm X. This palette is far more dramatic, but very beautiful. I love these shimmery shades. And again, that deep matte, it looks so beautiful. This color right here is stunning, very unique. This I'm obsessed with. I think both of these palettes are incredible. The original Orgasm palette looks a bit softer, more wearable for every day, but then the Orgasm X is kind of nice for dramatic eyes, weekends, evenings, but then the two of them look like they play really nicely together as well. And then the last thing in the box is the Orgasm X Oil Infused Lip Tint. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Ooh. I guess the Orgasm X is a bit more peachy coral than the original. I thought this would look more rose gold. It's beautiful. And these oil infused lip tints go on a little bit more sheer. In fact, I'm too tempted. I'm just going to try this on right now. It's pretty. <sighs> these feel so nice. Mm. I love it. I love the color. I love the way they feel. Mm, so pretty. And what's great about these is that they look really pretty alone. Like you can wear this by itself and it will be a gorgeous lip. But then if you prefer more color, just put it on top of a lipstick. <sighs> I think I have a new favorite. That's all I have for now from Sephora related brands, but I do have a couple other packages here that we might as well open since we're here. This package came from Impressions Vanity. I was so blown away to receive an email from them. This vanity right here is an Impressions Vanity and I went to the website, I purchased on my own, I put it together on my own and I'm obsessed with it. It's the most beautiful vanity brand. So as a happy customer, I was thrilled to hear from them and they were so kind. And last week they sent over this Touch Pro LED makeup mirror. This is going to live on top of my vanity now. And I have not opened this up, so let's see. It tilts and swivels. It has dimmable daylight LED lighting. Bluetooth, audio, and speakerphone, USB device charging, it's rechargeable, cordless, travel friendly. I'm gonna try to open this so you can see. Ooh. Comes with a little cloth so I can polish it. <gasps> Ooh! It's already charged. I just put the stand together really easily. It looks like this just goes straight in there. Or what? Ooh, yes, it does. So the little mirror part just pops right in and then tilt and swivel. I love it. I got fingerprints all over it, but this is awesome. USB, you can plug it in. Here's the Bluetooth audio so you can turn it on. It comes with a little cord to charge. That way you can plug it in, charge it up, and then it will be cordless. So I could take that out to the living room or if I wanted to do my makeup somewhere else, I could just take that one little mirror with me. It's really light. So this would be easy to travel with or transport anywhere. The very last package I have here to unbox was sent over by House of Siage. And I think this is another one of their mystery boxes that they've come out with for summer. Let me take off the little ribbon. Nice little card inside. I have not opened this at all, so we will open it for the first time together. This is the French Riviera Fragrance Mystery Vault a $574 value. Looks very pretty. Mmm, something smells good. I can smell the box before I can see it. Cute little House of Siage Beach Club hats. 
You get this soothing and radiant body oil. It's meadow foam oil to create a protective barrier on the skin surface. Antioxidants, vitamin C. Sounds really amazing. You also get the Trend number no. eight perfume, little travel size. This is what I'm smelling. This is the By the Lagoon candle. It smells so nice, like tropical paradise. I'm not gonna open this because they sent me a By the Lagoon candle a couple of months ago whenever they launched all of these candles. So this will go towards a giveaway. The last thing in the box is the full-size fragrance. Ooh, love is in the air. I've never smelled this before. That is really nice. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Love is in the air. What does that remind me of? It reminds me a bit of Tiara. It's beautiful and I absolutely love this cupcake. This is stunning. Mm, and the fragrance does remind me of vacation. What a nice little gift box. It might have been my birthday yesterday, but today feels like Christmas morning with all of these boxes everywhere, but a lot of great stuff that I am really excited about. But that completes today's PR haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you saw something interesting. If you have any video ideas, anything you'd love to see, definitely drop me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face, all of the information on the giveaway down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.